Okay, serious question based on center of mass. Four bricks, each of length L, are put on the top of one another in such a way that part of each extends beyond the one beneath. The largest equilibrium extensions are. So we are given four options over here, uh, and uh, more than one options is correct. Okay, we got four bricks over here. Now we have to arrange them such that the we get the maximum possible elongation. So for that we will go from top to bottom. Let's draw the bricks one by one. So this is my this is my first brick. Okay. This is the first brick. And where is the center of mass of the brick? It is over here. Correct? Center of mass of this brick is over here. Right. Now I can keep the second brick beneath it in such a way that the center of mass is just above the edge of the second brick. Okay. This is your first brick and this is your second brick. So the center of mass of the sec uh, first brick is just above the edge over here. Since the center of mass is just above the edge, this brick will not fall. Okay, it will stay in equilibrium over here. I have achieved maximum elongation over here. This maximum elongation is how much? L by 2. Now for these two bricks, the center of mass will be exactly at the center. Okay, it will be exactly at the center. This is L by 4, this is L by 4. So for these two bricks, the center of mass will be exactly over here. Right. So this distance will be L by 4. So I should place the third brick in such a way that the center of mass of these two combined system should not fall. Okay. I combined these two bricks into one system. The center of mass of this system is over here. So the third brick should be placed such that the center of mass lies exactly above the edge of the third brick like this. Okay, so this is my third brick over here. Since the center of mass of these two bricks is exactly above the edge, this system will not fall down. Okay, center of mass of first brick is above the edge of sec uh, second brick. So the first brick is not falling down. Center of mass of first plus second brick is above the edge of the third brick. So they will also not fall down. Now we have got three bricks over here and we have to locate the combined center of mass of the three bricks. So for that, see, brick 1 and 2 combined together will give me total mass 2m. Okay, total mass for the brick 1 and 2 combined will be 2m. I'm drawing it over here just for the presentation purpose. And the center of mass of brick 3 is over here right but i'm drawing it over here for just just for the presentation purpose for calculations okay so brick 3 has mass m bricks 1 plus 2 combined have mass 2m okay what is the distance between them that is half the length of the brick so distance over here is how much l by 2 okay now the center of mass of this combined system should be one third distance away from 2m Okay, you can apply the formula for center of mass and you will get that the center of mass of the combined system lies over here. Okay, this distance will be one third that is L by 6. So, this will be equal to L by 6. Okay, so that means I should place the fourth brick. I should place the fourth brick such that the center of mass of the previous three bricks is just above the edge of the fourth brick. So this is your fourth brick. Okay. Right. 1 plus 2 plus 3 combined. Their center of mass is over here. Okay. So this is what is giving me the total elongation, the maximum possible elongation. Okay. So I have got 1, 2, 3, 4 bricks. bricks. Okay. So I just add them together. L by 2 plus L by 4 plus L by 6 gives me total elongation. But okay, yeah. Just first look at the options one by one. Top brick overhanging the one below by L by 2. So the top brick is overhanging the one uh, brick 2 with L by 2 elongation. Right. So option A will be correct. Second brick from top over hanging the one below by L by 4. So second brick is hanging overhanging with L by 4 from the third brick. So option B is also correct. 
third brick is overhanging by L by 6 that is also true third brick is overhanging by L by 6 so option C is also correct the total overhanging length on the edge of the bottom brick is 11 L by 12 so from the edge of the bottom brick what is the total overhanging so L by 2 plus L by 4 plus L by 6 so this is equal to 11 L by 12 so option D is also correct